Joe Fab with us tonight, and we'll talk about why, what he's done with him to win an Emmy or to be nominated. Nikki Rockwell and also Paula Sweeney, representing the Million Pennies Project, correct? Yes, I am. This is a big deal yeah. in Groton, big deal in Groton. And it started how many years ago? Mm, two and a half, three years ago. Two and a half years. And mm -hmm. can I just, I want to go back before we do this. I, I was looking at your bio today, Joe. Mm -hmm. Emmy Award winning. You received the Christopher Award in 2006 for wonderful humanitarian, what, human, whatever, interest stories or whatever it was, but <laughs> fabulous. I have to read that. Highest values of human spirit. And uh, you've done things with Maya Angelou mm -hmm. and presidents. And you were invited by the ambassador of Kuwait to do things. I mean, you've got an amazing career, 36 years. Ooh, yeah. 36. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Yeah. We are well, really honored. I'm just incredibly lucky. I mean, really. I, I say this all the time, yeah. but I don't mind saying it one more time. It's true. I have a great time doing what I'm doing. Yeah. I don't know what good fortune or good behavior in some previous life yeah. got me doing this. And I'm just concerned somebody's going to figure out what Pop a good time bubble. I'm having yeah. and make me stop. But the one thing that was the Emmy nomination, I believe, was paper clips. Yes, also at the Tribeca Film Festival, which is fantastic. Um, tell me, before we go any further, how did this, people here, I think Amy Deegan and somebody else latched on to paper clips, brought it here, showed it in Acton and here at Groton School. Mm -hmm. And then, were you involved with that as well? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna let you now. Oh, and let me find out about yes. Paula, because I don't know anything about you. Well, Joe and I have known each other even longer than 36 years. Oh. <clears throat> I also have won an Emmy. I used to write after wow. school specials for ABC, which tells you how old I am. <laughs> um, Joe and I work together. We started out in theater. I have a degree in music. I sing opera. I was lived in Manhattan 21 yeah. years, wrote children's books, came back to town, and Joe and I are doing films together Isn't now. That the Johnson so Group. wonderful. And where are you based? We're in uh, McLean, Virginia. Oh, you are in Virginia. Okay. Just over the river yep. from D.C. Wonderful. Hmm. Very exciting. Now, how did this get going? Well, I think Amy really uh, saw paper clips and said, I've got to get people at, at Groton Dunstable, particularly the teachers, down to see this movie. So she was in touch with a man named David Gantz who really wanted to get the film produced in a way that it could be distributed for free, especially in middle schools, I believe. Um, and she was able to uh, get us to go down, and it happened to be a time when Joe was there, I believe, and Linda Hooper and Cassie, I believe, came. And they showed the film, which of course, how can one see that film and not be deeply moved by it? And uh, then we were able to have um, a conversation with all of them about how this came about. And we had done historically a What is a Million project right. in relation to the Holocaust mm -hmm. unit. So, you know, it, it really fits so well with what we were already doing. Yep. And yet what we were doing is the seed. They were already sort of in that oak tree phase. So um, we just got obsessed and said, OK, we're going to get this here. And then just good fortune kept coming Absolutely. afterwards, and Joe came as part of the package deal right. and you know really he uh, shepherded us through three different events and I think the largest one was at the middle school um, mm -hmm. really just a wonderful man and spent a lot of time talking with our kids the peace uh, book right. project was yeah. there and Joe met with those kids some of them who are in the penny project mm -hmm. now and um, you when know, the kids came on the show they were just so excited about yeah. this and so <laughs> involved you know, even the seniors that I think hopped on to this project just to get some hours, Honor mm -hmm. Society hours, really meant a whole lot to them. And I think it was just amazing. Yeah. You know, if you, if you see paper clips, there's a scene in it where, if you remember, this uh, suitcase comes. Uh -huh. And the assistant principal at the school says, I think, something that explains what you're talking yeah. about. He comments on the fact that this amazing package, and you have to see the film to understand right. what it's all about this comes to the school and he's explaining why somebody went to all this trouble, he quotes Anne Frank uh -huh. and he says, you know, when people see something good, they want to become involved. Absolutely. And I 
think the penny project yeah. is exactly that kind of thing mm -hmm. you Absolutely. can't resist it mm -hmm. can you tell the viewers that may not know about this in short paragraph what uh, paper clips is about well in my business you're supposed to be able to do it in three sentences three sec that's, that's, right. Right. Three sentences. Uh, that's right paper clips, clips is about a small town in tennessee where everybody is basically like everyone else white fundamentalist christian at the school there they realized that they had to do better than that for their kids so they looked to add something to the curriculum that would prepare the children for dealing with other people not like them they decided to study the Holocaust because the kids would learn about Germans and Jews, and they would see maybe the worst possible example of what happens when you don't understand people not like yourself. They began to study the Holocaust. They instantly ran up against the fact that the, the Nazis killed six million Jews. They couldn't comprehend six million. They selected paper clips, a small item that was already, as we explain in the film, a symbol against Nazi right. terrorism. Um, so they decided they would collect paper clips. That's the first three minutes of the film. It's what happens after that that makes a good story. And it is absolutely fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you. And the pennies also symbolize? Well, our number is a little bit different. Yeah. Uh, we went for, we actually began with a million. Right. And, um, and because of what seems like a blessing now, but seemed like a curse at the time, <laughs> Uh, we were able to have so many pennies donated to us in such a flood, and I think very quickly the kids made the link that um, 1.5 million children had been murdered under the age of 14 in Jewish children in, in the camps. Um, and they just felt that was significant, that this was middle school kids wanting to educate other middle school kids, and this was a, a connection right there. That's wonderful. You have Ray Tai coming, who's mm -hmm. donated quite a bit of money, yeah. and other people coming to that have uh, donated. Well, Norman Salsitz, who died four days right. after his donation, and I believe one of the girls even today spoke very poignantly mm -hmm. about that, how meaningful it was to them to know that in his last days, this project meant that much to him uh, that he would donate this money mm -hmm. to them, and mm -hmm. so his daughter is coming, and, and we should say coming to what? It's a yeah, wonderful oh, event. Yeah. <laughs> This Saturday. The unveiling of right. the memorial, yes. Uh, this and Saturday the celebration, at noon. yeah. And only 100 tickets left, I hear. Uh, yes, only 100. So no, no charge, just come to the door. Hopefully just there'll come. be some left. Come and enjoy and really learn what our children can teach us. It's amazing. Yeah. It's absolutely yeah. amazing. I, I just, you know. Are you so excited to have these people here? You know, I'm just in love. <laughs> I'm just in love. I feel Same that back at you, baby. Yeah. 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 I mean, I, I was so fortunate to actually have spent a little time with Joe um, when he came the last time, and I'm not really sure how the connection got made. I think that Amy might have emailed Joe and told him about the unveiling, and he did not think he was going to be able mm -hmm. to come, but wished us well. And then he can probably speak better to this, yeah. but when he made the gestures, would you be interested? You know, I wouldn't have been interested if I hadn't already met Joe, I don't mm -hmm. think, and, and already seen that movie and knew just how respectful yeah. they are of uh, the passions of young people and the fragility mm -hmm. of young people and uh, really excited by them. So well, it's good of you to give me the credit, but one of the hats that Paula wears at our yes. company is development, and she was the person who was really paying attention. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, I don't know what I was doing, but Paula was paying attention, and Paula made mm -hmm. sure that we we really got serious about being here, yeah, and I'm we, awful glad you did. We went out, and, and we have a, a very wonderful boss, Bob Johnson. We must never forget that, that there are certain people in the world, like Robert M. Johnson, who will give of his money mm -hmm. as well as his valuable time, and he, without him, there would have been no paper clips, mm -hmm. and he said, absolutely, we, we had not gotten money for this particular shoot because this is uh, under development, so he said, you've got to go do this. Wonderful. How many people, what, what's the name of the company? It's called the Johnson Group. Okay. There are only four of us on staff, right. um, but we managed to get things I done, apparently. So. I guess you do. How many films have you done, actually? Oh, I've never counted. We've done projects for uh, Discovery, History, right. for PBS, You know what it really interests me is the, is it Crossover? Crossover, yeah. With Magic Johnson and Penny Marshall. We executive produced yeah. that with them, yes. I'm assuming about HIV AIDS. No. Oh, it isn't? No. Oh, okay. Crossover is uh, a global 
uh, basketball story. Oh, okay. And it sort of looks at the fact that, you know, what used to be years ago, the NBA was a U.S. thing. Mm -hmm. It is now a global thing. And there are many places in the world where children who don't see much possibility in their lives get wind of the NBA and basketball, and it's actually something you can rig up to play yep. in a, in a yep. fairly simple yep. way. And so you've got kids focusing on that as maybe a way to that's a right. future. Absolutely. And that's fabulous. what the film sort of looks like. The at. reason I mention this, because we're almost out of time, I can't believe it, but you're also involved with the Elizabeth Glazer um, Pediatric, Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Pediatric AIDS Foundation. Yes. I mean, this guy is phenomenal, both mm -hmm. of you, you know? And uh, you're doing also documentary work with that? We have done uh, lots of films for the Foundation. Uh, nothing currently, but we love them, and uh, it's a great, great organization. That's wonderful. Yeah. Currently, we're wrapping up on our newest documentary, which is Bedford, The Town They Left Behind, which is about the town in Virginia that lost more men per capita on D-Day wow. than any other town. That's just wonderful. I, I, I'd love to talk to you for another hour, because I want to find out how you find <laughs> out your different, get your ideas and all of that stuff. But back to this. This Saturday, which is the, what, 30th, 31st? 31st. 31st, 31st of May, because yes. this will go for another four days after that. So this Saturday, Broughton Dunstable Middle School, Middle School South Half. Performing yep. Arts Center. Yes. 12 noon. Yep. And it'll probably go for an hour and a half. It's one, yes. isn't it? Uh, oh, yeah, well, one? I actually it's think, that given the numbers of people who are coming and the fact that we already know we have yep. 700 tickets gone, yep. The parking is going to probably be an issue and okay. getting seats. I think the doors will okay. open. And mm -hmm. um, and it is handicap accessible. Absolutely. So and great. we really want people to come. And if you can't make it, please, we have, have it situated in such a way that you can actually drive by and even see it at nighttime through mm -hmm. the uh, windows. And Wonderful. Just see what, what extraordinary children we have. That's Do you great. have a few seconds yes. for me to say one I'm thing? I'm sure my local dish people will wait. Thank you. They, because it's important to me sure. to have people Absolutely. know this. We've been working with the children today from the Penny Project, mm -hmm. and uh, not to embarrass her, but Nikki herself and other teachers at the school. The thing that we got out of paper clips, which is why we want to be here to do this, is that those of us adults who might be you know, a little preoccupied with our own stuff, we need to look around the, at the kids that are close to us. Mm -hmm. These kids can do incredible things. Absolutely. The kids at the school are doing that. If you mm -hmm. come to the event on Saturday, that's what you're going to be looking at. Children who are, I told them this today, the world they're making is one I want to live in. Mm -hmm. These are great kids. And, that's so and when cool. they're surrounded by enlightened adults like Nikki and the other folks at the mm -hmm. school, they're empowered to do what they can do. Yeah. That's why I say come on Saturday. That's wonderful. What a great way to end this show. Thank you so much, Thanks all of you. Thanks for having us, Nikki, thank you Thanks, for all Jane. your hard work. Really and thank pleasure. you so thank much you. for being here, Paula. Thank you. Nice Thanks again, you. and uh, best of luck Saturday. Oh, yeah. Thanks. We'll, we'll, see you we'll have the tickets. Now. All right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. uh, in just a second, we will do another edition of Local Dish. I'm very excited.